Hello friends, my name is Amir and I am a 3D artist. Recently, I have focused on AI, on generative AI, to improve my work quality and make some easy workflow for my job. As a 3D artist, I am working in architectural design projects, interior design, exterior design, and also 3D product renderings. So in all of these cases, I can use the power of the AI and I have some different and some several tools. But uh, during these videos, I want to focus uh, on stable diffusion. And I will explain to you that uh, why I have chosen the stable diffusion. <clears throat> uh, if you search on the Google, you can figure out that stable diffusion is a deep learning text to image model and it's very, very powerful. Uh, for uh, To work with a stable diffusion, you need some e interface. Already there are two different interface uh, that are very, very popular. One of them is Automatic 1111, and it's, um, it's very traditional the style. It's something like a web page and also it is very very powerful but i am prefer to working with comfy ui uh, comfy ui is very modern and uh, is very powerful it is working with the node based system and easily you can configure and you can make your own workflow for your jobs <coughs> And also, if you start to work with Comfy UI, every time you can save your workflow and after that load your workflow again. And also, if you don't have any knowledge about how to uh, design your workflow, you can use the pre-made workflows. And also it is very good because it will help you to get a start and work with a stable diffusion. Uh, for example, Already now, I have made it several different complicated workflows and easily you can drag and drop the workflows into the software and the node workflow will be loaded and after that you can use that. Also, it has some other benefits. Uh, for example, if you, if you start to working with Comfy UI, um, then you can easily figure out that how generative AI models are working. And it's very important because uh, it's just starting of the game. I am sure in the future, for example, one year later or two years later, everything will be improved and uh, everybody should have some basic knowledge about the generative AI. Uh, so let me show you how to install and run Comfy UI on your computer. Uh, there is a URL here. I have shared that in my YouTube comments. Uh, you will go to this URL on the GitHub and click on installing the Comfy UI. You can install the Comfy UI with several different ways for, for Windows, for uh, Colab, for installing on Linux, on AMD GPU, on Mac computers. But uh, right now, only I am focusing to install the Comfy UI on Windows and using the portable version because it is very, very easy and uh, it is not necessary to have any knowledge about the Python or coding or any other thing. It's very, very easy and I have tested that for more than 10 times <laughs> during these years, these days. <laughs> okay, so once you click on the installing, uh, you can see this part. I, I am suggesting to go to the release page and after that, click on assets. Okay, you can see the different versions of the Comfy UI that uh, are released. Uh, I am suggesting to use this version, 0, 4, underline 06, 2023. Okay, because um, yesterday I test the first version, but um, I had some problem for installing the ex for installing the extensions, and um, it made some problem for me. 
I can solve them, but uh, it is not something easy. And I prefer to start working with this version. So remember that I will share the link 0406-2023. Once, once you download this file, 7-zip file, you, you can extract the file. Okay, let me show you. <clears throat> you can extract the file and it is not necessary to do any installation okay um, and also it is not necessary for you to install the python on your computer because on the portable version they have embedded the python necessary files and codes and uh, everything <coughs> excuse me uh, so, while I'm installing the, unzipping the Comfy UI, and uh, once the unzipping will be finished, it will be ready for use, okay? But before that, uh, let me uh, provide some more information for you. If you go to the installing, you can see some notes and some information <clears throat> uh, it wrote just download extract and run make sure you put your stable diffusion checkpoints or models the huge ckpt or safe tension file in comfy ui model checkpoints okay it's very important because um, in the file that we have downloaded there is not any checkpoint and you cannot start the processing so we have to download the checkpoints uh, i'm suggesting to use the cvit ai web page uh, and on this website uh, you can find many many different checkpoints for using inside the comfy ui uh, and let me explain that what are the checkpoints uh, actually the checkpoints are um, pre-trained models they are like a database okay and for example when the stable diffusion wants to start to generate something it will use the informations that are stored in the checkpoint okay and uh, for example each checkpoint can provide uh, some different time for us uh, here you can see many many different checkpoints but i am suggesting to work with realistic vision okay because it, it can provide a very very realistic image and also i'm suggesting to work with rev animated and uh, it is not realistic engine Rev animated uh, can provide some uh, image like uh, 3D image, some CGI style image, uh, but it is very, very powerful and it is very useful. And this engine, this checkpoint uh, will attention, uh, will pay attention to your prompts very, very good. And um, I'm suggesting to start with working with Rev animated and realistic vision. You have to download the checkpoints from this link. You can click on download. And after that, uh, when the downloading will be finished, you have to move them. Okay, let me show you because already I have them. Models, checkpoint, realistic vision, and rev animated. Copy. Okay, where, where should I? put the checkpoints you should go to the comfy ui windows portable comfy ui folder and after that the folder name is models okay then you can see the checkpoint folder you will go to the checkpoint folder and you will paste your models that you have downloaded and uh, when you pasted them after that, you can run the Comfy UI. Okay.
Here in the Comfy UI Windows Portable, you can see two different BAT files. One of them is run CPU and one of them is run NVIDIA GPU. <coughs> Uh, if you are using the NVIDIA GPU on your computer, I'm sure that you have to use the NVIDIA GPU version. But if you don't have, you can use the CPU version. But the CPU version is very slow. And just one time I tested that. So I'm running the run NVIDIA GPU. Once you double click on that, then you can see this window. And you can see that your system is going to start the processing. <clears throat> okay, it is going to load some information and it's ready. Let me press the load default. Okay, for the first time, you will see something like this. Okay, and this is the interface and of the Comfy UI. In this page, you will you can see many uh, lots of different nodes, and uh, here from this <coughs> toolbar, you can press the Q prompt, and once you press the Q prompt, the processing will be start. Okay, I'm pressing the Q prompt, and here you can see that the checkpoint realistic vision is going to be loaded on the system. After that, there are some prompts here. I have some positive prompt and some negative prompts. <clears throat> the positive prompts exactly are something like we have in Midjourney or we have in Dolly. They are trying to explain the image, but also in a stable diffusion, we have some negative prompt and uh, the negative prompt is uh, are the things that shouldn't be. It's up, uh, and it's very useful. Okay, this is the interface, and for example, you can write what you want, and after that, it is going to start the processing, and here, your request, your prompt will be generated. <clears throat> so. You can see it's very easy to install and run. Just you have to extract the zip file. And after that, download some stable diffusion checkpoint and place in the folder. But uh, for my workflow, it is just a start, a start it is just a starting point. And um, I have to install many, many different extensions on Comfy UI. Uh, and normally installing the extensions on Comfy UI could be a little complicated, but uh, uh, but I have a shortcut way for you. Okay, let me show you. Uh, the, there is a plugin, there is an extension for Comfy UI, and the name of that is Comfy UI Manager. Okay, and it's very, very useful because once you install this plugin, after that, you can install the other extensions from this plugin, from this extension. And it's very, very useful for us. Okay, so every time that I am installing the Comfy UI for my friends, exactly after that, I'm going to install the Comfy UI Manager. Okay, so how we can do that? If you go to the installation, you can see this command. Uh, you have to do git clone this repo. But how? Okay, let me show you. At first, you should go to the Comfy UI. And after that, go to the custom nodes. When you was in this folder, you should click on your address bar. And after that, write CMD. The command prompt will be open. And if you check, you can see that you are in the custom notes folder. Okay. So I am in custom notes folder. And now I am going to 
run this text in command prompt. I copy that and I pasted that here. Okay, it make a new folder here and it download the necessary files from this URL into this folder. It's finished. Close the CMD, close the outer file. This CMD is for the config UI. And again, run the config, uh, run the run NVIDIA GPU.bat. This time, uh, when the config UI will be open, we have the config UI manager extension. Okay. Now here, pay attention please. In the manager area, you can see the Confi UR manager menu. And from here, you can click on install custom nodes and it will show you a many different extensions that you can easily install on your Confi UI. And also, it can install custom node missing. For example, when you want to use a workflow that someone else has made that, maybe they, maybe they used many different extensions or plugins, okay? And if you drag the extension, uh, if you drag the workflow in your workspace, after that, you can see some of them are red. But Comfy UI Manager, can detect the missings and it can install them from the internet. So it's very, very useful. And also from the install models, <coughs> you can see that um, it is suggesting many, many useful checkpoints and also the models, and you can install on that. Also, each model has some uh, description and uh, in the next videos, I will try to install the necessary extensions for the Comfy UI. So you can see that, for example, in less than 10 minutes, easily you can install the Comfy UI. And after that, you can install the manager, Comfy UI manager extension. Okay, so see you in the next video. Bye.